A subscriber suggested the following integral to me and I love supporting and engaging with my subscribers. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video right now. Let's dive into this integral and I'm gonna show you the thinking process behind it. So here we have the integral of one plus x squared power negative three halves. And to just make it easier to sort of read, I may like to write it as one over one plus x squared to the power of three halves. Now, the issue with this integral is that our first thought is to do a u substitution. So I always advocate if you see something in the denominator or inside a complicated expression like powering by three halves, we can try to set u is equal to what's inside the expression. The issue is that when we do that, we're gonna get two x dx up top with du. Okay, so here we have dx, and if we put u is one plus x squared, we'll get du is equal to two x dx, and that doesn't quite work for us. So if u is equal to one plus x squared, du is equal to two x dx. And there's no real way to produce the x up top, okay? So we don't have an x up top here. So in general, there are two things to think about in this sort of situation. Because it doesn't work, one thing we could try to do is to create somehow something up top by simplifying the expression. Okay, so that's one strategy. And so that's the strategy we're gonna take in this video. Okay, now this is trial and error. I'm not claiming that this is easy to come up with on the first go around, it's a trial and error. A number of other things you can try before I get into the solution is you could try putting u is equal to some part of this expression. You know, like for example, one plus x squared power half. But either way, by the chain rule, you're gonna get a two x dx. So you need to produce a two x dx up top. Another thing to try is, okay, we don't see an x up top, but maybe we can write in terms of u, okay? So if we have two x dx, what is x going to be? So we could sort of write it out that, you know, u is equal to one plus x squared. So therefore you could sort of say, maybe x is equal to the square root of u minus one, okay? Maybe you could try that. I'm just showing you the thinking process. I wanna emphasize that math is not done you know, just by finding the solution immediately. So here are some things that could work in other problems that are related, okay? Try to write out x in terms of u. And so therefore you sort of get, okay, du by two x is dx. So therefore dx is equal to one over two root u minus one du. So you could try this out. But again, the problem is that once we do this, we get the two root u minus one down bottom, then we get u power three halves and we get a root u minus one. So somehow that still doesn't kind of simplify our problem. We get a square root u minus one and a u power three halves. So the trick here is, and, and this is a trick that applies to a lot of other problems, okay? All tricks, all the failed attempts I show you do work if you modified the problem slightly. And the trick in this problem is we want to sort of create something up top to make our du match with that. So what are we gonna create up top? How are we gonna do this? So the trick is, let's see if we can factor something from the bottom. And this is something that once you do it, you see, okay? But you have to sort of get used to the trick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna factor out an x squared from this expression. So I'm gonna write this as one over x squared times um, one plus x squared. So if you divide one plus x squared by x squared, you get x to the negative two plus one, okay? And this is going to be whole power three halves. Now, the point of doing this is by factoring something out from the denominator, perhaps I can put it up the numerator and create that du, okay? That's the guess, okay? And this works. So once you see the trick, you can apply it in a lot of other problems, okay? So I'll give you another problem at the end of the video to practice with, but let's see how this plays out. X squared power three halves is going to be X cubed. So you have an X cubed down bottom, which becomes an X to the negative three up top, okay? But let's just write it out in two steps. You get an X cubed down bottom, times one plus x to the negative two power three halves dx. Now, once we've got this far, you sort of now try, okay, what if now I try to put the expression inside the power three halves as u? And now it sort of works, okay? So the point is that this x power three on bottom is actually an x to the negative three up top. Okay, so it's going to be an x to the negative three up top divided by one plus x to the negative two. And you know by differentiation that you can then work out if u is equal to one plus x to the negative two, what happens? So I've avoided trig substitutions in this video. No trig substitutions are needed, okay? So this is a purely algebraic approach to it, which I like better than trig substitutions. So here we've got this, and now we're gonna set u is equal to one plus x to the negative two. Let's do that. 
set u equals x to the negative 2, or 1 plus x to the negative 2. So we get u is equal to 1 plus x to the negative 2. So therefore, du is equal to negative 2x to the negative 3 dx. Okay, and now we've got the x to the negative 3 dx up top, which is going to be 1 over negative 2 times du. Okay, so if it's 1 over negative 2 times du, then we can write this as going from the right hand integral there, we're going to get 1 over negative 2, so it's negative half, we can put it outside the integral, integral du divided by u to the 3 halves. And just like magic, we've now reduced it to something we can calculate. So all we have to do here is we just have to now, I just advocate, you know, make it really simple. So u to the 3 halves on bottom is u to the negative 3 halves. So just write it out that way, you know, so you don't make any silly mistakes. And then we now use the power rule for integration. So it's going to be minus half times minus 3 halves plus 1 is negative half. So it's going to be u to the negative half divided by negative half. Okay, that's the power rule for integration. Add one to the exponent and then also divide that on the bottom in the denominator. So that all cancels out. And now we've got that all canceled out. So this, this cancels out. And now we're going to get u to the negative half plus c, which is going to be 1 over root u plus c. Okay, and 1 over root u, we know what u was. It's 1 plus x to the negative 2. So 1 plus 1 over x squared plus a constant. That's going to be our integral. And it turns out to be pretty simple. You know, as a check, you can differentiate this and see if it works. But there you have it, that's the integral. And we avoided trick substitution. So this is a cool trick that applies sometimes. You know, try to factor something out, simplify the expression and create your du. Okay, keep that in mind in your bag of tricks. And as a question, as a side question, I'm gonna ask you, drop a comment down below. What happens if we put a squared plus x squared? Okay, so a is a number here. We put a squared plus x squared. What is the solution going to be in terms of a? Okay, so I want you to go through the process again with a is a constant. Your answer will be in terms of A. Drop a comment down below and you can sort of discuss in the comments whether your answer is right. Okay, I'm happy to provide feedback and thanks so much for watching and check out my channel for lots of problems on integration at all levels of math. Okay, I'm there for you to support you in your math education. And if you're really enjoying my channel and gaining value from my videos, consider subscribing on Patreon as well. It really helps me to grow my channel and invest more of what I get in Patreon into developing higher quality videos and more math content because right now I'm doing everything on my own. So if that sounds appealing to you to help support my channel, please consider doing so on Patreon and I'm super excited to see you in the next video.